What's up guys? In this tutorial, I will show you how to make a cutscene in Roblox Studio, transforming your game with engaging storytelling elements. Cutscenes can dramatically enhance your game's narrative, guiding players through your story or highlighting key moments. First, you need to download the Codes Otaku plugin to easily create cutscenes in Roblox Studio. To do this, open Roblox Studio and go to the Plugins tab. Look for the Manage Plugins option in the Tools group and click on the blue plus icon. This opens the Plugin Marketplace. Use the search bar to find the Codes Otaku plugin. Once you've found it, proceed to install it. After installation, open the game where you want to add the cutscene and launch the plugin. Now, let's create a cutscene. Give your cutscene a name and select the Create or Select Cutscene button. For the first camera position, Set the duration to 0 and then click Capture Camera Position to lock in the camera position. This marks the beginning of your cutscene. Next, you want to add more dynamics to your scene. Adjust the duration to the length you desire for the next shot and capture as many positions as you need by repeating the process of setting durations and capturing positions. These steps allow you to choreograph the movement and flow of your cutscene. Once you're satisfied with your scene, Hit Generate Script. You'll see a lot of code generated. Close the Edit windows after this. If at any point your mouse gets stuck, navigate to the Home tab and click on Move or select to regain control. Here comes a crucial step. Moving the script from Starter Player Scripts to Starter Character Scripts. This ensures your script runs correctly, animating the cutscene as intended for the player's character. Now. Let's trigger the cutscene. Place a part in your game world and set Play on Character Edit to false. This part will act as a trigger for your cutscene. Within the cutscene settings, find Skip Cutscene and set Visible to false, making it invisible to players. Then navigate to Play on Part Touch, click on Value and set the value to the part you've just placed. This links the cutscene trigger to the part. Next, go to the Music section and clear the Sound ID if you don't want any default sounds playing. Feel free to rename the script to something more descriptive of its function. Finally, it's time to test your cutscene. Play the game and search for the part you placed as the trigger. Touching this part should seamlessly launch your cutscene. And there you have it, a step-by-step -step guide on creating a cutscene in Roblox Studio. This process can initially seem complex, but with practice, it becomes an invaluable tool in your game development arsenal. I hope this helped you out. Leave a comment if you have any questions and see you in the next one.